here is a floating container, floating, not flying, not sinking, but just floating and chilling there. Oh, that should tell you that it's in equilibrium. Mm. Important clues here. A cross-section area is given to us. This is what we call the A. A weight is W. What is the density of the liquid? When you see things floating, you see liquids, you should think of upthrust as the force at play here. So what is happening is that it's floating. Why? That is because if I if I draw a free body diagram of this container, I, I use a dot to represent it, you will have a weight of the object, which is W downwards. But also, because it is in a fluid, the up thrust is acting on this object upwards. So you must not forget this up thrust also. So this one, equal magnitude upwards. So it is called the up thrust. I'll just use U as the up thrust. Now, how do you calculate this thing? So because it is in equilibrium, that means U equals to W. So let's write that on the side. And we have this equation. So U equals to W because it is floating in equilibrium. Up trust, you have to remember the formula for it. That is rho VG. Density of the fluid, the volume that is inside the fluid, and G is just gravitational constant. And W is given to us, right? 32. Okay, so we're 32. Now, we don't really know the volume of the whole thing. So how can we do this? We want to say... Hmm, volume is cross-section area times height. Okay, so we can say this is AHG. But now we have another dilemma. Which height do we use? When we say volume, is it the volume of the whole thing like that? Or is it the volume of the part that is submerged? Hmm, this part. So actually, you want to talk about the volume that is submerged over there. Eh? So when you calculate your values, you're trying to find the density. So we don't know what that is. So it's just rho. Everything else, we move to the other side. So 32 divided by AHG. Area is 0 0.012 meters squared. Okay, la, everything quite quite nice in uh, MESA units. Uh, heights. Okay, so for the height, we're going to decide which height to use. And actually, we have to use this one. This one. 0 0.3 meters. So that's the volume that is submerged in the fluid. So AH and G, 9.81 over there. Okay, calculation time. So we take 32 divided by 0 0.012 times 0 0.3 times 9.81. We get a nice number, about 906. Actually, not a nice number. There's decimals behind it, 906.1. And what is this density? So probably kilograms per meter cube. Final answers usually round off to 2SF. So you look for a 910. Is there a 910? Yes, 910. So this one is the density of the fluid submerged in there. Now you might still be looking at this and wondering, Miss, why do we only use the volume that is submerged? Mm. You think about this case. Imagine if you said, oh, what if, what if, what if up thrust is rho... Uh, what do you call that? Rho, 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 rho A, H, G. And you take the height as 40 meters. Uh, sorry, 40 cm. Okay, I will say, I will then ask you this question. So you have a certain up thrust. What if I take a knife and I cut off this top part? Will the up thrust still be the same? Assuming the weight doesn't change, probably it's still the same. So the height up there doesn't really matter on that thing, okay, so that's just one way to think about, huh, why do we not use that part? But generally, yes, you want to use the volume submerged in the fluid. Can't really see my writing, but you get the idea, submerged, okay. So that's all for this question about things floating in objects. Go try out more questions similar to this. And that is all for this question. I will see you in the next one.